Every time the gong rang out, another 1,000 meals were packed for Rise Against Hunger, an international hunger relief organization. On Sunday, Ellen and Buzz Ditto organized a food packing event at the Delphi St. John's Gymnasium. Rise Against Hunger, uh, we have close to 300 volunteers here today to package in right around two hours. We're going to package hopefully 30,000 30, meals. They're nutrient rich and, um, meals of soy, rice, veg dried vegetables, and a mineral packet. Wow. And they'll get packaged into one quart bags. We were in uh, Wilmington, um, Mass two years ago and we saw we were with a group that did 20,000 and so we enjoyed it and we thought well the Dolphus could do this and so we were going to start out with the 10,000 and we did 17.7 last year and this year we're going to do 30,000. Meal packing events like the one in Delphus occur all over the United States and elsewhere according to Jennifer Anderson community engagement manager for Rise Against Hunger. There are 815 million uh, malnourished people in the world. That's one in nine, so um, it's a huge deal. It's a re really huge deal um, that people would come to an event like this and partner with us. Volunteers packed the gymnasium at Delphi St. John's. Each person assigned a different task. Some helped funnel the food into plastic bags. Others weighed them, sealed them, or boxed them for chipping. 80% of the meals go out of the country, and there's actually seven countries in the world that package these meals, and all of the ingredients are all domestically grown in each country. And then 20% of the meals stays here in the United States for disaster recovery. The meals that go out um, into other countries go directly into orphanages and children, um, women and children meal feed eating programs, hospitals. There's no government intervention in these. The meals, go, we've got partner sponsors that the foods go directly to. Next year's event is scheduled for March 3rd, 2019 at Delphus Jefferson High School. For the Lima News, I'm Sam Shriver reporting.